Hey everyone, this is Chris. Uh, finished up moving, got all, well, not all, uh, but most of my stuff unboxed. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is uh, do a pretty quick deck video, just so I can keep up this pace uh, without having to spend too much time, since I still have some stuff to set up. Uh, so this deck is going to be a variation of a favorite of mine, a uh, three hero secrecy build using Theodrid to sort of help smooth out the different resources and Glorfindel as a sort of very, very cheap hero that we can use. Uh, and we have Eowyn as our third instead of my standard uh, Biffer or uh, Pippin. Uh, but that's all right. I... Sirens. All right. Uh, perks of my new neighborhood. <laughs> Anyways, not actually sure if you could hear that, but we'll see. Uh, so this is a three hero secrecy deck leaning pretty heavily on the leadership side of secrecy. Uh, we've got a little bit of ally cheating from the Bjornings with the skin changer that came out relatively recently. I just so happened to get two of them in my opening hand, which is maybe too much, but they're pretty strong allies regardless. I've got Light of Valinor, I've got Elrond's Council, and I have a Sneak Attack, which is not super useful, although has some interesting consequences for the Skin Changer. So with that, let's just get to it. Um, we are going up against the Woodland Realm, because that's the quest that I have ready to go without having to dig for any more. See, ooh, Timely Aid in my opening hand is perfect. Uh, so we're gonna do that right now. Timely Aid, look at the top five, one, two, three, four, five. For any ally, I don't know how much we're gonna need Landerval, but uh, this deck doesn't have any healing because we're not running any lore cards. So the ability to save a hero if they get taken out by direct damage or maybe an untimely shadow effect is actually quite strong. The challenge, of course, is that once we get Light of Valinor on Glorfindel, we really don't want that. Uh, but, you know, we will see how this goes. All right, and now that that has happened, I'll spend one Light of Valinor on Glorfindel. I'm going to save one on Aowen so that I can skin change her next round. All right, so we're going to commit to the quest. Send three, sorry, one, five, eight, uh, and we'll leave Landerval up. I will play Elrond's Council, dropping my threat to 16. Uh, gives me a little more leeway to find a secrecy card and also means that now we are at nine willpower up against four threat. Turned around. All right, uh, so now we need 15 progress to clear captured by spiders, uh, but we do make set nine up against four, up oh, five progress. So basically nothing happened. Uh, we got a freebie and everything is great. Um, I will travel to Watched Path this is a sort of warg build of Woodland Realm, so there's a good number of small enemies, uh, but I think just being able to sort of build up a little bit before we trigger the advance is a good idea. So let's refresh. Standing up all these characters, ticking up to 17 threat at the beginning of the second round. I forgot a Theodred resource, put that on Glorfindel. All right, so draw my card, generate one, two, three. Oof, okay, so at this point, I have a Northern Tracker that I would like to get into play, and I have Treebeard that I would like to get into play. Uh, so let's do Treebeard first, and I'm gonna skip my Bjorning plan for now because as useful as it is, I think Treebeard is going to be more impactful. I'm gonna leave this resource 
doesn't make much of a difference in terms of... Actually, no, that's... We'll leave this resource. Glorfindel will get one from Theodrid, one for next round. Puts him at two. Oh, this ends up being faster. All right. We'll leave it on Glorfindel. Final answer. So let's commit to the quest. We're going to send eight again, up against one in the staging area. Up against three in the staging area is five progress. So one here and four on the main quest, which brings me to nine of 15. And watched path might produce another enemy, uh, but lost and witless is not. Also, this card really sucks for a very ally heavy deck. <laughs> Discarding each ally card, ouch. Uh, as I said, the faded resource is gonna go on Glorfindel. And I think that's all we can do. Yeah, I'm not ready to deal with that warg yet, and I don't have to, so I won't. Draw my card. That's nice. There's a resourceful bear, which is good to see. Uh, so at this point, I'll spend one from Phaedrid to put resourceful on... Oof. Um, just based on what's in my hand, putting it on Eowyn makes the most sense, so let's go with that. Uh, this is a deck right now that doesn't have a lot of card draw outside of Gandalf, which might end up biting me a little bit, I think we'll be all right. Uh, so I'm going to commit to the quest, I'm going to send eight once again, I'm going to put the resource this time on Eowyn. So next round, I can play Northern Tracker and two skin changers, unless something changes. So eight up against three. Eight up against six is two progress. Takes us up to 11 of 15. I don't really want to swap the Spider Den for an enemy right now. Uh, so let me engage this hunting warg, optionally. A Treebeard defend, three defense versus three attack, and I know that no matter what happens, Treebeard is going to be fine. All right, no shadow effect. Oh, right, I forgot that that makes an immediate attack. Uh, all right, well, that was a poor choice. Uh, so it's swinging at five, and <laughs> Treebeard just took two. And it makes a for real attack. Should read these cards a little bit better. Uh, we're going to let Landerval defend against this one, because I don't want to risk losing Glorfindel and Light of Malinor. Tagging enemy is not an orc, so the Wolf Rider does not come into play. Uh, but Landreval is defeated, and I can only use Glorfindel to put one damage back on this hunting warg. Uh, I mean, I could. Nope, can't even sneak in an ally. <laughs> All right, well, that was a colossal misplay on my part. Tick up to 19 threat, heading into the fourth round, readying Treebeard, my only ally. Draw myself a card. It's a nice one to see, actually. All right, so we're at four and four. Two on Treebeard. Uh, so I guess first things first, we're gonna timely aid for one, since we're still in secrecy. One, two, three, four, five. Oof. Out of this bunch, I will take Faramir. Uh, there was a Gandalf in there, and I'm a little disappointed now that I might not draw that Gandalf. But this Faramir is going to be potentially huge for willpower, although at this point we're, you know, we're doing fine. I will spend four from Eowyn for the double skin changer. So now I just have to draw some sweet Bjornings and I can... Uh, make the magic happen, uh, and we'll get a Northern Tracker. 
who at this point is just attack power. So let's quest one more time before we get out of secrecy. Uh, we have eight sent to the quest up against four. I'm gonna put this resource on Glorfindel. I only have sneak attack in my hand, so this is not easy to predict what is going to be useful. All right, one damage on a questing character. Let's pop that on Theodrid. Each damage character gets minus one willpower, which only drops us by one. And I don't have any healing to heal anyone anyways. So my seven up against four is three progress, bringing us to 14 of 15. Definitely do not have to travel or engage this enemy yet. Uh, and the Hunting Warg does not get its shenanigans this round. Uh, doing some math, I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can easily defend with Treebeard. Shadow effect is plus two. So Treebeard is gonna take another two damage. That's unfortunate. But I only need five attack in order to kill this hunting warg, so let's just do that. Uh, good news is it should be pretty easy for me to defend the Beast of Tarn of Wind and kill it with my small army here. All right, taken up to 20. Round five, draw a card. Well, there's another skin changer. Uh, so one and two. Two on Glorfindel, three on Treebeard. Let me just play this skin changer. I got a lot of questing potential if, uh, if I need it with Faramir. And once again, just sneak attack in my hand. So <laughs> let's send eight to the quest up against four. I only need to make one progress to be fine. All right, Howling Ward discards a dry water course, so no surge nonsense. Can I deal with two enemies? I don't know. Uh, so let's optionally engage the Beast of Tarnifwin. Defend with a Skin Changer. Attacking enemy gets plus one, so the Skin Changer is defeated. And I need nine in order to deal with the beast. So here is three, seven, nine. Uh, and I shortchanged myself. I sent one eight to the quest up against five. I should have got three progress, plenty of progress. All right, so now we are out of secrecy. But we have so many resources and nothing to spend them on. I think somehow we will be all right. Card. Well, that's resourceful, which is kind of the opposite of uh, what I just said. But I can certainly spend a bunch of these to put resourceful on uh, Glorfindel, so I can't sneak attack resourceful. Yeah, let's just commit to the quest. I've got. Eight, I put one on Theodrid, up against two threat. I'm gonna travel this round pretty much no matter what. All right, so one, two, three, four. My eight is four progress that I really don't feel the need to track. Uh, so I'm going to travel to this spider den. Which means we're searching for a level zero enemy to pop into play, a cost zero enemy. Now the hunting warg that was so annoying is a one cost enemy. Now the zero cost enemies are really not that impressive. All right, we'll take a wolf rider. It's 
a little hardier than some of the other options, uh, and its surge effect is not super likely. All right, so engagements. I can only optionally engage one of these enemies, so I will take this Wolf Rider, deal it a shadow effect. Uh, two attack could get up to three. Let's defend with a skin changer to be safe. Doggolder Beastmaster has no shadow effect, so that is one damage on the skin changer. And just Treebeard is enough to kill the Wolf Rider. So that is pretty good. 22 threat, round seven. I mean, honestly, at this point, the, the biggest challenge is that I need to draw a Gandalf specifically so that I can draw some cards. Because uh, just having this one sneak attack is very much not helpful. I have plenty of resources rolling. I have Treebeard who can help me attack. Faramir, who can guarantee that my questing works out well. Uh, all right, well, I guess I can't play this Northern Tracker right now, but still. All right, let's quest. One, five, six, seven, eight, committed to the quest. Um, send this Northern Tracker, make it nine put a progress on the dark black woods. So, uh, and I guess I'll put this extra resource on Theodrid. Nine up against three, four, five. Nine up against five is four progress. Spider's Den flips into Mendor. And we are now moving on past stage one. To a, a chosen path, search the top five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Cost one. We are going to reveal that card, and its when revealed effect cannot be canceled. Uh, so at this point, we're going to take Dark Black Woods. Uh, there is one of those treacheries that forces me to discard all of the allies in my hand. Uh, but presumably if I were playing this against an opponent, they wouldn't know what was in my hand. And the two cards that I have probably not make that seem like a huge benefit. Uh, and at this point, we're looking at three threat dark black woods, which is pretty rough. Uh, but I know that I have Northern Tracker and plenty of willpower, so I think I'm okay with it. Uh, and 2B, for what it is worth, it's lost in the dark. First treachery of every round gains doomed one and cannot be canceled. I don't have test of will in my deck, so that's more or less the way treacheries work regardless. Uh, and you can't place more than five progress unless you send Mendor, in which case you can only place 10. So we're stuck here for two rounds at least. Uh, at this point, is it worth it to travel anywhere? I don't think it is, so I'm not going to travel. I'll engage this Howling Warg. He's attacking for two, potentially attacking for four is sort of the most that I know of. So I'll defend with Faramir. Turn attacking the enemy to the staging area. All right, well, that's classic wargs, but ultimately not too bad. Take up to 23, heading into round eight. Up against six, nine in the staging area. Draw my card, well, extra tree beard doesn't do anything for me unless this one dies, uh, which is maybe a nice safety net. I have so many resources, uh, but I will spend four of them for a Northern Tracker, which is how I'm planning on dealing with these locations. And it's a good thing I have a lot of green dice. So let's quest. I will send one, 
five, six, seven, eight. Uh, might as well send Treebeard, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, 14 up against nine, up against 12 will be two progress base plus two on each of these locations. So we're basically gonna pop all of them next round. And I just want to engage this Howling Warg, so let's use Faramir to boost up the amount of progress I make by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have two. Nine is not bad, uh, but it does mean that I am forced to spend a third round on this stage. I will engage this Howling Warg. I don't actually have a choice whether I do it optionally or regularly. Uh, let's have the undamaged skin changer defend. I only need four attack to kill this warg. Warg's glade as a shadow is good to see. Put one damage on the skin changer, uh, and just treebeard is plenty to kill the warg. So now I feel quite good about this. I'm not going to have to travel to clear out any of these locations. There's not a bunch of enemies sort of beating down my door. Uh, I am stuck on this stage for a little while longer, but we should be pretty good. Draw my card, Extra Light of Valinor is completely useless. Uh, there are a couple air stores in this deck, but uh, at this point, you know, I think we're just going to have to make do with what we got. So, committing to the quest. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, the Double Northern Tracker clears all of these locations. So I have sent 14 up against three. And I do have Faramir backup if I want it. So 14 up against three, four, five, six. Uh, and there are two progress on this location. Yeah, 14 up against six is gonna be eight. Uh, might as well use Faramir to make it 10. Just end up getting that. So we are at 19 out of the 20 that we need. Like I said, because I was just one short. And there's nothing else I have to do this round. So, round 10. Draw my card. Hey, it's a giant bear. Uh, normally I would be using the skin changers to cheat out this giant bear very early, uh, but instead I'm just going to spend five resources to play a giant bear. And if I defend with a giant bear and it dies, I can bring it back with the skin changer, which might be relevant. So committing to the quest, I've got eight. 9, 10, so I don't need to send Mendor, don't need to send Treebeard. Uh, the Northern Trackers are going to clear both of these locations. And Watched Path possibly spawns an enemy. It does not. So, 10 against nothing. 10 against 2 is 8 progress, which is plenty to clear, lost in the dark. And now we are on the trail. Search the top 5 for a card with cost 2 or less. Two, three. I think honestly that I've seen most of the really nasty enemies already. So this is probably just gonna be a cost one card. Yeah, let's get that wild warg. Dealt a shadow card with no shadow effect. It bounces back to the staging area. You know how much of that is my favorite. I do have to engage both of these enemies this round, which could be a challenge, uh, but it's probably just fine. 3B, to the Elven King's Halls. So we need to make 25 progress right now. And the more progress we make, the more dangerous it gets. Uh, because if we make 10 or more, we have to reveal an encounter card. But first things first, let's deal with some wargs. I have to put one damage on a character, uh, which I will put on... 
Hmm. Let's put it on the giant bear. No, that's silly. Let's put it on this northern tracker who's probably never going to deal with combat. Shadow, shadow. Oh, so we will have giant bear defend the wild wargs. The attack is undefended. It is not. No damage dealt. Uh, let's have one of these skin changers defend against this necromancer's warg. No shadow, one damage. And now we get to fight back. Uh, three from Gorfindel is enough for the Necromancer's Warg. Four from Treebeard is enough for the Wild Wargs. Refresh, 26. Now I have to make even more progress. Uh, but there's no locations. We've got plenty of things going on. Draw a card, generate some resources. I got two on Eowyn, way too many on Glorfindel. I've honestly probably forgotten about the Theodred resource many times. Um, but even still, I'm just going to preemptively discard the Skin Changer for a giant bear. For all that that matters. Trigger should be at three resources. And with nothing up against us, let's quest. I'm going to send one, five, eight... Um, honestly, so that means I can get up to 11. Yeah, it's fine. We're going to send eight. The Goblin's Caves. So I send eight. I would make five progress. This farm here to make it eight progress. Low enough to not trigger an additional encounter card. Uh, I will travel to the Goblin Caves. No, I don't care about the Goblin Caves at all. Uh, so we'll just take up to 27. We'll refresh. Draw some cards. I have a Gandalf now, so uh, this is very relevant. Uh, in the resource phase, I'm going to sneak attack. A Gandalf to draw myself three cards. One, two, three. Gandalf comes back to my hand. Faint, resourceful, timely aid is actually pretty nice. I might as well just spend four resources directly for timely aid. One, two, three, four, five. Um, um, hmm. Let's do Legolas. Uh, worst case, I expect Legolas will be able to help me draw some cards to sort of continue fueling some of this. I have so many resources right now that it basically doesn't matter. Yeah, I might as well spend four for Resourceful on Theodred so that everyone's got one. Uh, and I can spend five, bring Gorfindel down to three total resources to pop out Gandalf during planning and draw myself three cards. At which point now I regret my choices because I have Jubair and I have another bear. Actually, you know what? Let's just pop out the bear. Got lots of bears, lots of bears. Got a faint backup, I got another Gandalf in my hand, that means <laughs> this is totally over. All right, so questing. One, five, burp, burp, burp. six, seven, eight. Uh, tribute should be at four, so we'll spend two of them. Nine, 10, 14, 15, 16, and two progress here. So 16 up against 3, 4, 5. 16 up against 5 would be 11 progress. And since that's already above the threshold, we might as well make it 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 progress. Yeah, do my math right. Uh, 2, 6, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 23, up against five. Yeah, turns out to be 18 progress. 
brings us up to 26, which is one, one short of the 27 that we currently need. So we are forced to reveal an encounter card, which surges. Either choose and discard, oh, choose one card, discard the rest, or assign five damage among characters I control. This is really a no-brainer. Here's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and actually, this is pretty great because I can just play Gandalf next round to drop my threat. Uh, oh, no, I can't do that. Can't reduce your threat by more than one each round. Never mind. All right, well, I'm not going to travel to the Goblin Caves, but I will engage this Hunting Warg. Makes an immediate attack, uh, which we are going to defend with Giant Bear. Attacking enemy gets plus one. All right, so Giant Bear takes one damage. Now it makes its regular attack, which I will defend with a second Giant Bear. Turns out bears versus wolves is pretty skewed. All right, so three against three, that is no damage this time around. You only need six in order to kill a hunting warg. So that's seven, and I draw a card from the Legolas. Uh, okay, well, all right, well, there's Elrond's Council, which drops my threat by one, since we are currently limited, uh, which actually is sufficient for me to win the game at this point because now 26 progress 26 threat all right uh i think that worked pretty well uh and as i sort of expected uh the damage piles up a little bit when you have no ready source of healing so if you paired a deck like this with a, a lore deck or something like that i think you could be in pretty good shape this deck definitely needs more card draw uh, although, if I had had a Gandalf in my opening hand, we probably would have been fine <laughs> sitting on that sneak attack for quite some time. Uh, but even then, I don't think it's really that important. Like, it's nice to continue to grow and grow and grow your board to sort of overwhelming levels. But there wasn't really any point in the game where I felt like we weren't equipped to deal with things. Uh, aside from right at the beginning, when I had no allies that could realistically defend, and I misread the hunting warg to sort of my detriment. All right, everyone, wraps up my first video in the new place. Thanks for watching.